Hi, John here from PayMyStudentLoans.com and this is a quick little student loan return on investment calculator that I put together. I had some questions on uh, people wondering what is the return on investments on a student loan and uh, you know what is the benefit of getting one. So this is definitely far from perfect but it gives kind of a general idea of uh, what should your return on investment be given certain parameters. So this is basically how it is for, for me personally after I went to college. So I spent five years in school. I graduated with $22,500. And five, $22, uh, before I left for school, I had a full-time, if I was to work full-time, I probably would be making $15 an hour. I would have expected to get a 4% raise per year with a 3% inflation. I graduated college and was earning $30 per hour, or the equivalent of that in a salary. And then I, I'm expecting the same level of raise whether I was educated or non educated. And I spent $15,000 per year on school that I wouldn't have been spending elsewhere. And so this is the net present value of me working between now and 60. And so I, the net present value, if I had not gone to school, so at the age of 19, how much would my lifetime earnings have been worth? And that is $1.5 million. After I went to college, and the same calculation, so at 19, I'm losing $15,000 for five years, and then I start earning more than I would have been had I uh, not gone to college. My lifetime earnings, those starting later, I'm making more, and those lifetime earnings end up at $2.1 million. So it's an almost 30x uh, return on investment as far as my loans go. Now, this doesn't calculate in the interest on these student loans that are accrued for the first few years here and there's some other errors in this calculation but in general it gives a pretty good idea of whether or not a student loan and the, the cost of college is a, has a positive return so comparing the net present value shows you the uh, the which option is better so now we're going to do a quick little test here so you might be wondering, you know, I, I, I was lucky enough that I had a pretty solid job leaving college and I didn't exactly have a great opportunity before I left college. So if someone has a great opportunity, let's say they're going to be making $18 per hour by not going to college. And then the question might be, well, okay, but what do I need to make after I leave college to make turning down that $18 an hour job worth it, you know, excluding life lessons and all that. So let's say, okay, he goes to college and then graduates and gets a $22 per hour job. So it turns out that that is not an adequate return on investment. 23, closer, but no. 25, 26. So in this case, the return needs to be almost $8 an hour more to make that a positive return on investment. So even at $25, he's barely breaking even. And that's a full $7 an hour more than uh, he was making before he left for college. So if you've got a good opportunity to make money at the start, from a financial standpoint, it might make sense. But again, if you're making $15 an hour now, it, it starts to become pretty clear that going to college is the right decision. And you also definitely need to be able to get uh, a decent starting salary to make this work. So it's a, it's definitely not the end-all be-all of, of tools and what this shows shouldn't be your deciding factor. But it's something that uh, some people might find interesting to play with. So if you enjoy it, that's great. And uh, let me know how it can be better by uh, stopping by PayMyStudentLoans.com and getting in touch with me. And uh, if a lot of people like this, I'll uh, see if we can't make this something a little bit more robust and uh something that my uh, finance professors wouldn't uh, shake their head at. All right, thanks a lot.